As nicknames go, the world's greatest deliberative body is not so great. Want to know why Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh are sitting on the Supreme Court today? It's not, as you probably think, because Donald Trump picked both men to fill vacancies on the country's highest court. Sure, Trump did pick them. I literally just said that. But who confirmed them? Answer, the Republican-controlled U.S. Senate. Without a Republican majority in the Senate, neither Gorsuch nor Kavanaugh are on the Supreme Court today whether or not Trump nominated them to the job. And that goes the same for the 90 plus other federal court judges who Trump has appointed and the Senate has confirmed since January 2017. Which brings me to why you need to care about the battle for the Senate majority in 2020. Because even without control of the House, Trump and Senate Republicans, led by their leader Mitch McConnell, have engineered a massive ideological overhaul of the judiciary in just two years' time. Okay, let's start this with some basic Senate facts. Republicans currently control 53 Senate seats while Democrats control 45. Now, that second number is actually 47 because both Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Angus King of Maine identify as independents but caucus with Democrats, so 53. 47. Now, in order to take the Senate majority in November 2020, Democrats would need a three or four seat gain in the coming election. Huh? Why the two options? Well, because if the Senate is tied at 50-50, then the Vice President of the United States breaks all voting ties, which means that Democrats need a net pick above three seats if the party's presidential nominee beats Trump in 2020, and a four seat gain if Trump gets reelected. Now, at first glance, that seems totally doable for Democrats. And because roughly one third of all Senate seats are up every two years, you often get a lopsided number of seats up for the two parties. 2020 is one of those situations. Republicans have to defend 22 of their own seats in 2020, while Democrats have only 12 of their seats up for election, which is, you know, 10 more Republican seats. Math. But all Senate seats aren't created equal. Well, actually, they kind of are. Every state has two senators, and each senator gets one vote. Where they're not equal, though, is when it comes to how much of a chance both parties have of winning a given seat. For example, Republican Senator Dan Sullivan is up for a second term in Alaska in 2020, as is Republican Senator Cory Gardner in Colorado. Now, each man holds exactly one Senate seat, but they are not equal. Gardner is the most endangered Republican incumbent in the country. Sullivan, on the other hand, will walk to victory, barring some massive unforeseen scandal. And so, when you filter out the seats, like Sullivan's, that one of the two parties should, emphasis on should, win easily, you get a better look at where Democrats need to win if they want to be in the majority in 2021. The two biggest Democratic targets and chances of pickups are Gardner, who represents the state Hillary Clinton won in 2016, and Arizona Senator Martha McSally. So McSally actually lost to Senator Kirsten Sinema in 2018, but was appointed by the Republican governor of Arizona to fill the vacancy caused by the resignation nation of Republican Senator John Kyle. Now, Kyle, a former senator himself, was in the seat following the death of the late Senator John McCain. Oh, that's complicated. Now, beating Maine Senator Susan Collins is also going to be a major priority for Democrats, especially after she cast the deciding vote for Kavanaugh after a hugely contentious nomination fight that revolved around allegations that he had sexually assaulted a woman in high school despite Maine's Democratic tilt, and Hillary Clinton did win the state by three points over Trump in 2016, Collins isn't going to be easy to beat. She's been in the Senate since 1996, and she won her last three races with 58, 61, and 67 percent of the vote. But let's say Democrats sweep all three of those seats and win the White House. Voila! Poof! Majority! Except probably not. Because it's not just about winning Republican-held seats, it's also about not losing any Democratic incumbents. And that's where we arrive at Doug Jones, the Democratic senator from Alabama. Now, Jones beat Roy Moore for the seat in a 2018 special election. Moore was hugely damaged by a series of allegations that he had pursued relationships with teenage girls when he was in his 30s. And yet, Moore still almost beat Jones because, well, this is Alabama we're talking about. President Trump won the state by 28 points in 2016 and will almost certainly come close to or even eclipse that margin 
next year, which makes it very, very hard for Jones to win, unless Republicans nominate more again, which, amazingly, is not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Ah, politics. The most likely outcome, though, is that Jones loses, which means that even if a Democrat wins the White House in 2020, the party needs to net four GOP seats to win back the majority. So where might that other seat, or ideally for Democrats, seats come from? Well, three places to look, Georgia, Iowa, and North Carolina. In all three states, you have Republican senators running for re-election for the first time in places that have been competitive between the two parties in recent years. Now, unfortunately for Democrats, they haven't been able to convince their top recruits in Georgia or Iowa to run. Stacey Abrams, who came within a whisker of winning the governor's race in Georgia in 2018, decided against running for the Senate, despite being heavily courted by, among other people, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. Now, Senate races, thank God, start later than the years-long presidential race, which means that we are just now beginning to get the shape of the battle for the Senate majority. But remember this, looks can be deceiving. While the raw numbers look good for Democrats, Getting to the Senate majority is going to be very tough. And that is The Point. We make New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.